very important words in terms of employee awareness and not just physical awareness but mental well-being as well. Mr. P.B. Kotur is a distinguished L&D leader with over 30 years of experience, currently leading the Global Engineering Academy at l &T Technology Services with a legacy at Wipro and contributions as an advisor to top institutions, Mr. Kotur has mentored thousands and authored 19 books, which is something seriously impressive. His work has earned him global recognition, including the prestigious Global Goodwill Ambassador Award. I'd like to call you on stage, please. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Saturday morning, coming off over the city. Luckily, mornings are so beautiful, right? Uh, you will not get stress. What Dr. Ramadan told, uh, Bangalore naturally adds to the 120 by 80 or 80 by 120, right? But uh, today's HR summit will certainly bring that 120 by 80 or 80 by 120, whatever the you know, world best statistics can come inside. Uh, I want this entire session because there are so many people who have come all the way. Uh, but cheers yourself. Uh, can you start the session with a round of applause to yourselves? Big round of applause. Now, media is making a lot of noise, but they never news. But inside, you need not be so silent. You need not be violent. But you can always give a class to every single thought delivered here. So thank you, Benny, uh, Santosh, and the entire team for organizing this beautiful thought, uh, recognizing and rewarding the wonderful people and your contribution to the world, and particularly industry, the academy, and the nation building. So congratulate all the people who will receive the award today. But National HR Summit is something that we always look at. What Dr. Brandon told, it is building a thriving workforce. Workforce at workplaces. There are three or four W's, work, workforce, workplace and well-being. So every HR should think of these four W's and then the fifth W word becomes also very well to So in order to meet five W's, each one of us bring our soul, mind and body to the workplace. But my topic is change management and strategic leadership in the era of AR. I don't know, Santosh, why you are fascinated with my titles. Uh, both the universities and the corporate, whenever they invite me, they refer my two years LinkedIn post or 20 days back written. So they give me the same thing. But I don't want to keep my title stay. It should be relevant because all of you have spent your enough number of valuable contribution to the industries. When I say AI, 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 nobody wants to miss the word AI genia in their resumes. I scan so many resumes and possibly much before whether they are expert in the mainframe or expert in mechanical design, but the top of this is adorned with expertise in AI. And 99.99 people don't have expertise. So possibly 0.1% will have expertise. The AI is no longer a new in thing, it is a thing inside. So therefore, bringing the perspective of AI in today's world is not just a statistics. Certainly, I dwell on the wellness. AI is no longer futuristic, it is a reality. AI is not a tool, it is a life partner. Whether you are at the office, at home, at the stages like this, it is your inevitable partner for your success. So change management and strategic leadership with AI is a new paradigm altogether. We can talk about yesterday's latest report on India uh, USD reserves. We went by 7.02 billion to the top, 681.81 billion US dollar. So AI throws you the data, right? You may not do really research. You need not even try, just try, you know, reserve. It first thinks not necessarily reserve of reserve wire or something like that. Because yesterday you the latest news in India, the moment you type reserve, it gives you India's reserve. So that's the power of the technology it comes. Whenever you travel in Vande Bharat, right, 
you will see that the kavach, raksha kavach. It is not just in our mobile, it's not just in your Alexa, it's not in our software defined vehicles. AI, Gen AI is everywhere. And therefore, the leaders at workplace, leaders at office, leaders at government should leverage AI very effectively. So therefore, not to change the world around us and inside our world, having the transformation mindset becomes a priority. The strategic leadership demands a transformative mindset. And therefore, at workplace, we need not necessarily a mindset change, but a set of minds also need to change. The moment it happens, the world becomes well being around. When we change the mindset of the people, its adaptability is important. And therefore, we need to drive the culture of control to the culture of empowerment. AI enables with each and every people. And we need to focus from efficacy to the focus on adaptability. Because the last two, three years of pandemic made us lazy and we have gained the weight. And gaining the weight is not good for a, a national well-being index. So that there are so many bodies they will give a erratic indexes for India. Right? We need to create our well-being in the era of PR. The second power is a change. Change is always resisted. Even 1986, when the computer introduced, people said that our jobs are there were no jobs, where jobs will be replaced. Then in 2000, why took it came? So why took it takes everybody's job? After that, no look back, India has moved up. From what? From possibly 2 or 3 percent contribution to GDP between 13 14 or possibly 17 percent contribution. People have a resistance in mind. AI is a good friend, not an enemy. Third important point, why the statistics are available globally, it's 407, 407 million by 2027, possibly 519 million by 2032. But for India and Indian corporates, Indian governments, Indian families, it's important that we need to use it wisely, not otherwise. So when you use AI at workplace, it's for productivity enhancement and taking care of your people. You need to know people. First, you need to understand your people. At a natural, national HR conference, understanding the Maya of AI is not just a topic. In the chaya of AI, we need to understand deeply. When you, maya is around us, chaya is within us, and then kaya becomes very well I engine. I wish the entire day a very successful conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you for those very inspiring words.